welcome to combat. I know that you love a bit of combat. Uh, again, this is an extra workout, it's going on top of the week. So for those of you that didn't want to do the strength week that we have decided to do, it's not for everybody, I get that. I have purposely come in early and done these little workouts that I know you genuinely love. So we have a real time if you haven't done that. We've got an eight times eight, but it's not called eight times eight, it's called 13 times four. It's way harder, <laughs> it's way harder than eight times eight. And I loved it though. Very, very challenging for the mind. And today it's combat. I want to show you this little trick. I've shown you little things every now and then that help to, look, I put some magnets on my timer so I can stick it to places. So if you are doing your own workouts at home or if you're doing a stopwatch when you're doing the challenge here, put some magnets. Or as the little kid who sometimes comes around at our house calls them maglets, put some maglets on the back of him. <laughs> he goes, Lisa, and I go, yeah, he goes, this is a maglet, and I go, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, he also says, Sultan, Sultan uh, Viganer, Sultan Viganer Chris. That, that makes me laugh as well. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's, it's cool to laugh, but it's funny. Can I have some Sultan Viganer Chris? No, you can't, no. <laughs> Say it right and you can have it. Sultan Viganer, no, still wrong. <laughs> Say magnet, maglet. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so, it's a minute on with a 10 second rest. Lots of cool stuff in today. It's not gonna be easy. Normally, combat is a lot of punches and a lot of uppercuts. Today though, we're gonna get some compound um, up and down moves in this one. So pr be prepared, get in your mind. This is, I'm gonna set you the story because we've had some good stories this week. So I'm gonna set you the story. The zombies are here. This is straight fact. You're on my team and you've gotta get our food from the local supermarket that we've, we've managed to get into to the place where we're hiding out, where can't, we can't tell everybody because obviously only we know. So to the place that we're hiding out, you've now got to get that food there, but there is gonna be some up and some down, and that's gonna involve maybe you getting on the floor for a minute and maybe you getting up for a minute, and you've gotta get that mindset in your mind because if you're one of those people that just likes to stay up, or likes to stay down, this workout ain't gonna work. You've gotta think childlike mentality. We might be going up, we might be going down, we might be shaking it all around. You've just got to go with it. <laughs> got it? Good. Do you remember the other day when we were taking the shopping and we left all the kids in the supermarket and then we left our sweet corn? It's gonna be a little bit like that today. It's fun though, right? I was watching a documentary today because obviously there's no football on, when the football things do come on, instead of just watching some endless goals over and over again, which honestly I've got no interest in it, it's not my game. Football's not my game. Basketball and rugby are my games. But because obviously now there's no football on, when you do have a football programme, they're telling you about different managers and different players and how they, how they like play the game and it's way more interesting. Like way better than just football. Like learning about the athletes is way more, like that is my bag. They go into the story behind the like managers and how they got there and blah, blah, blah. And I know I'm ranting and I'm going around about circle, but you'll understand why in a minute. So this, this morning, don't ask me to pronounce his name. I'm not even gonna say it. The Liverpool manager, as it stands, the German guy, he was telling me about his like mentality, his work mentality. And I've never, ever, ever paid attention to this guy at all. I know who he is, I know he's the manager of Liverpool. That's all I care, that's it. I don't need to know anymore. I don't really enjoy the game. Nah. However, the guy, the manager, now I've actually had a program that explains who he is, he's got my mentality. So he says that he tackles his game as an enjoyment factor. He wants the crowd to enjoy what they're doing so that they wanna come back. And that's exactly how I see my workouts. I know it sounds ridiculous, but when I come into this setting, it's almost like I'm only as good as this workout. I don't think about the workout next, I don't think about the workout before, I think about this workout. How can I make the person on the other side of this, of you, you for example, of this camera, feel like they've had, had a good time for an hour and want to come back tomorrow? That's my, my total goal for this. It's got to work, it's got to not be stupid, it's got to actually be functional. You've got to learn something because obviously as a human being, we're always wanting to learn. So you've got to almost feel like you are increasing or you are 
learning or evolving through the process, but it's also got to be fun. And that is what I've learned today. So I've got a very much the same mentality as right now the German Liverpool manager. He's got that, he wants to make sure that the players are happy and having a good time. He wants to make sure that the audience is happy and having a good time, not just winning. It's about the, the vibe of the whole thing. And that's what we're doing. That's what we do every day. And that is quite interesting for me. That might have been a boring six minutes for you, but I genuinely sat there this morning. I was like, hmm, this is much better. Now I understand that guy and I've got a new respect for him. Why they just don't do stuff like that all the time? Because they never do. On the, play, on the programs that I've seen in the evening, it's all just this goal and this goal and this goal and this goal. boring, 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 don't know. But then when you actually get to know the players and learn their background, it's really interesting. Hmm, so there you go. Anyway, <laughs> that's my little piece of, that's my nugget for you today. So that's how my brain works as well, if you'd like to know. So that's it. Hmm. Anyway, we'll start with skipping. You've got 10 seconds. I want to say his, his name is... No, I'm not even going to do it. I don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to upset our German fans out there. And I'm sorry if you're disappointed that I'm not a football fan, but I'm just not. Over here, football is full of thugs and thug mentality. It's just not. Like rugby, basketball, they are cool games. You don't really see people fighting and stuff. That's the only reason that it puts me off football. Not the game. But this morning, I was really, really like... Oh, this is so cool. Like, I learned about who he was as a person, as a player, blah, blah, blah. Like, why they don't do this more often, I don't know. Right, get to chalk up. Stop talking, because you know what I'm like. If you get me off on a tangent, I never stop. <laughs> I, was talk mm, I was just going to start again. I was talking about this today. I was like one of those kids. You only need to distract me for one second. You can sign up to be one of those people that talks to people during the coronavirus. Not a single person would want me on the end of the phone, because it would be... 25 minutes later, and I'd still be there talking about something random. <sighs> They'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thanks for calling. <laughs> Block. <laughs> oh, what did you talk about? Oh, nothing really. <laughs> Are you ready? We're starting with skipping. You're gonna need your five pounds, also your two and a half pounds to lower down to. Remember, we're up and down today. Get your watches started. <sighs> Are you ready? I'm excited about the whole situation. I know we had a bit of banter, but banter's what it's all about, isn't it? Do I want to save this session? No, because I haven't even started yet. <sighs> I'm coming, I'm coming! Wait for me, I'm coming! God, it's Saturday. If I can't have a minute on a Saturday, when can I have a minute? <laughs> Just give me a minute. Functional training, that's why I put it on. Right, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 10 seconds. Sometimes I amaze myself. Five, four, hello on the live. Three, two, let's warm up. Oh, yes. Let's warm up. How's everyone doing? 50 seconds. I'm doing zigzags to start because I feel like mixing it up a little bit. 40 seconds. So your first minute should be nice and slow. Just getting into the rhythm, soft on your landing. Making sure your feet are touching the floor the whole time. Or abs are in. You're just getting your head into the fact that we're going to absolutely kick the crap out of something today. That's the mindset. <laughs> get, get yourself in that mindset and you're going to be alright. have a good time. I'll talk you through it. It's not hard, but it's fun and it's different and you'll burn a crap load of calories, I promise you. Let's go. I don't care what you're doing to warm up, but please make sure you are warming up. Live. I bet Teresa's 
so mad. Hey, oh, Tracy, you were there. Tracy got a posh coffee maker. Told you she'd get one. Her coffee has gone up to bougie status. Ten seconds. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't follow me enough. Four, three, two. If you do know what I'm talking about, her coffee situation has got really real. She's got one of them proper coffee machines, you know, the ones that you like put the thing on the top. So, <laughs> no giving Teresa crap coffee anymore. <laughs> 50 seconds. It's going to be one of those things that gets used all the time, or it's going to be like everybody's bread makers and nobody can be bothered to clean it, so never use it. No weights, then we're going to pick up the weights. <laughs> then the zombies are coming. Are you ready? Two, one, let's go. Jump over, one foot, one push up, feet down, tuck if you wish, jump over, one foot, take that foot back, push up, jump up. If you can, do one foot. When you come in though, two feet, two feet, drop to the floor after you push up. Two feet in, push up. One foot, one foot, push up. Two feet, go. Come on. If 
You gotta be quicker than those zombies. <clears throat> 15. Good job. This time, you're gonna come switch lunge, jump over. Let's go switch, two, three, stand squat, jump over. Switch, two, three. Get up, jump over. If you want to, jump over, you can. Come on. Go. Yes. 27. It's at 161. Competition burpee, let's go. Switch lunge, down to the floor. Come up, switch lunge, get back down to the floor. Make sure you touch the floor every time. Get low, zombies are coming. Get up, run to the next tree. Get low, can they see us? No, go. 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 20 seconds. You gotta hide from the zombies. They're coming. Up and down. Ten. Apologies. So, one, two, keep the knee, do it again. Same side. When you kick, kick them in the balls. No, you don't, not today. Not today, Karen. Come on. Let's go. Are you kicking them in the, kneeing them in the balls or what? Come on. Make sure you are doing that lunge. You're not just doing that. I don't want to switch. I want to lunge. Four, six is my heart rate. Let's smash it to the side. Lean forward. Up. Got it? One.
from the middle, out, jump in, kick it, out, in, kick it, go. Out, in, jump, kick, out, in, jump, kick, out, in, kick. You've got to add that jump. Out, in, jump, kick, out. Don't be stiff on the floor. Grab the head. Yeah. Come on. So far, all you've used is your body. Out, in, kick, out, in. Doing your own time, you've got a minute. This time, get down on the floor. One push up, take it out, take it in, down, or push up. Forward, back, up, down, push up. Back, up, down, push up. Good. Forward, back, up, down, push up. Forward, back, down, up, push up. Good. Forward, back, woo, down, up. Push up, 27 seconds. It is so real already. Forward, back, down, up. Three, two, last one. I need to show you. Look, I'm just gonna show the live. Look. We are 14 minutes in. 14 minutes in, which is why I tied my hair up. No more makeup, makeup's gone. Couple more, and then we're going to punch in. That is your official almost warm up done. Got two more moves for your warm up, and then we're done. Grab two of your weights, it should be quite heavy. It should be quite heavy. So we've done this one before. Same move, but you are using your weights to smash it against the knee. Got it? Nine, eight. Oh. Nine, eight. I love combat. I freaking love it. Let's go. Really make sure you are getting it on that knee and round. So you're almost coming round and kicking round the bag. So imagine there's a bag here and coming round the bag, okay? Go. It's a bit harder and you have to slug it down. But overall, you get much better results on those abs. Really go round, put all the weight on that other leg. One side will go round way better than the other. Go. Round the bag, round the bag, come on. Round, get round that bag. Let's go. Three, two, one. Same weight, so I've got 10 pounds. You're gonna come down, kick it to the side. Abs are on fire. And this top, if you want to know, is very tight. It's so tight. Let's go. Punch down. Make sure the emphasis on, on those legs. Jump in, over and across. Let's go. 40, 34, come 
on, Shannon. Come on, Roseanne. Let's do it. I know you love a bit of combat. Seventeen. Get it. Twelve. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Keep your weights. We're nearly through. We're nearly on to punching. You should be sweating. So this time, keep the weights out in front of you. Come up onto your tiptoes. Squat down. Squat down. Bring it back up. If you can, go up to the ceiling. Staying on those tiptoes. Bring it down. Let's go. Make sure that back is flat. Imagine you're trying to push your back along a wall. Up you go, stay on your tiptoes if you can. Stay on your tiptoes if you can. Slow and controlled. Let's go. Down you go, so difficult. Working through that balance that we've been doing all week. Abs in. Bum under. Let's go. Relax, take it down. Try and get that back as flat as possible, as if you're running it along the side of a wall. Come all the way up. Up you go, staying on those tiptoes. Good times. We're nearly there, one more for me. Three, two, last one. Take them wide. Remember we're practicing holding the weights like this. Hold the weights like this. If you can, if you can't, change them. Two, one, let's go. Squat down, single press for two. Come back in, stand up, squeeze, squat down. Single press, again, squeeze that bum under, up, good, let's do it again, come on, working on, stabilizers, up you go, good job, down you go. Your quad should be burning. I know mine are, and your wrists should be feel like they're getting involved and warming up those wrists. Ready for that warm up, ready for that workout. Get low, let's go. Eight, seven, all the way down. Three. Mm. Last one. Okay. Your first ab move is here, and then we go into the workout. Hold your weights. Watch, hold them here. You're gonna come up, touch your legs, take it down. Up, touch your legs, take it down. Let's go, up, up, up. Keep those weights where they are. And just lift those shoulders. Get those shoulders doing all the work. Let's go. still 167 that would not have been cool you'd just be dead so I just put those two in just before just to cool the heart rate down and just work on our balance this time two one two sit up ceiling push down back it goes one two lift to the ceiling lift up squeeze push don't let them come down keep them in the ceiling lock them back in shoulders lift chin in Lift, ceiling, up, lock it in, abs, let's go, abs, up, lock it in, Woo! let's go, keep them in, shoulders, up, 18, come on, Two, last one. Grab a sip of water, we're going. 
going into our main set of the workout. So you should be warm. Hi from Toronto. Hmm. Hmm. Hey Marie, I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, I didn't know it was you. Sorry, the live's on as well. Hey Marie, I haven't seen you for a long time, girl. Hmm. Okay, so, it's 14 workouts this week, Marie. If you wanna come and join us, you're more than welcome. Uh, so, very, very quickly, we're gonna now start into our main combat section. You might wanna lower your weights, you might wanna stay with the fives like me and then lower them when they get too much. What I need to recommend is that you keep your elbows in close. When you punch, you're punching with your body. You're not punching with your arm like that, you punch with your body. So you need to move your body. You need to be flexible on the floor. Don't be dead stiff. The idea of this is to move, weave, zombies are coming, you gotta be quick. Quick, 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 got it? Good, I'm ready to roll. <sighs> We've got 10 seconds. I need to start that again because I do need some chalk. I'm not gonna get through this without any chalk. If you still don't have chalk, it's on the website. Please look it up, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Ready? 10 seconds. Oh man, you're gonna like this. Jab, cross, knee. Got it? Two, one, let's go. Jab, cross, knee. Knee, do it again. Jab, cross, knee. One, two, knee, knee. One, two, knee, knee, jump. One, two, knee, knee, jump. Now get those elbows in. Knee, knee, jump. That jump just helps you with your timing. Go at your own pace if you want to do it this slow. You absolutely can. You've got a minute. You do it at your own pace. It's easier to lower the weight and go through the motions better than just try to lift in more weight. Sometimes lifting more weight is not the way. I'm going to change sides. Jab, cross, knee, knee, jump. Remember one side is going to love this more than the other. Let's go. Surely somebody has annoyed you and you just want to take it out. Keep those elbows in. My body is not stiff like a robot. I'm moving my body. I'm getting up and down and sideways all over the place. Ten seconds. Last one. Just gonna have to turn off the live. Sorry, live. Hmm. Last one. Let's go. Up we go. Up we go. Let's go. Get it. Move your body. Get it up. Punch that chin. Come on. Move it, get it up. 35, come on, push. 30 seconds. You got this, let's go. Good job, drop one of your weights. Switch lunge, knee it in. Knee it in, but this time with a weight. Three, four, 
three, two, one. So start with the knee in, so you know which one to switch lunge. If you don't want to switch lunge, just zigzag for me, okay? You can zigzag for me as long as you're putting in the work. Knee forward, remember? Knee forward. Kick them in the balls. Twenty-seven. It's getting real now. Come on. Turning your feet as you move. Let's go, hook it out, hook it out, let's go. If you've got your bag, use it. If you haven't, get those arms in, get your head in, get your elbows in. Use that back. Get around that bag. Visualize that bag in front of you. 37. Come on. Cross, jab, cross, and then come up. Got it? Keep those elbows in. We'll let your legs are wide. Let's go. Squat down. Bang, bang. Come up. Good. Do it again. Come up. Do it again. Come up. Do it again. Come up. 
I'm getting you to do an ISO squat while making you think about something else by using your arms. You're welcome. Down you go. Up and down today. 33. Go. Make sure you're squatting, squeezing that bum. Inner thighs are doing the work. Let's go. Up. 22. Get down. Come on. Using those really big legs. 13. 10 seconds. Come on. Seven. Make those inner thighs work. Three, two, one. Wipe your face. We're going straight into some uppercuts. Staying in that squat. Absolutely dripping. Let's go. Get down. Down. Let's go. Uppercuts. Lift your toes so your weight is going in your heels. Squeeze your bum as tight as you can. Squeeze it. Come on, come on, get it. 35, that's all. If your thighs are burning, good. Try and sit up a bit taller, but try and move your upper body more. Every time you punch, move it around in that punch. So we're working our back, our abs. 15, 12, 8, 5, Three, two, last one. Well, now you can keep the weights or take them away. You might want to take them away if you're not very strong in your abs. You're going to hold them up to here, just like this against your head. You're going to squat down and you're going to come down one side, center, down the other side. If that feels too much on your back, you can bring your weights to here, but make sure you are up tight in that body. I would recommend that you lift whichever side that you're doing so you feel that stretch down the side of the body. You are sat tall. You're not sat forward like that. You're sat tall. Knees are out. You are going out to the side. Without any weights, this is how it looks. Centre. So try it without. If you feel it in your abs more without, take the weights away. I actually feel it without more. Let's go. Let's go. 25. Get low. Sink an inch. Let's go. Not easy, looks easy, but it's not. 10. 5, 3, 2, last one. Stretch it out wherever you need to. Maybe put your feet forward, maybe stretch it out onto the floor. Your next set of abs. So, remember how we did it before? You know, lock it in. Let's go, lock it in, 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 up you go, sit up, press, take it down, let's go, lock it in, one, two, to the ceiling, sit up, press, keep it to the ceiling, lock them back in, you've got to make sure that those weights are locked into your shoulders and you are lifting your shoulders, not moving the weights. The weights cannot do the work for you. Don't let the weights do the work. Lift your shoulders. It's only like having your 10 pound weighted vest on, which is why I'm doing it. 12. Three, two, last one. Oh God. Put the weights on the floor. Okay, so uh, beginners or intermediates, you're just gonna hold a reverse, um, a reverse plank. Everyone else, you're gonna come to the side, come to the center, twist to the side, crunch, twist to the center, crunch, twist to the side, crunch, a little tiny crunch. Let's go. Crunch, crunch, let's go. Crunch, let's go. We are up in our combat game now. We're not messing around anymore. Center, down the body, chin in. Side, down the body, 
Down the body. Oh yeah, at least that's amazing. Side, down the body. 19 seconds, lift. At least try it. If you've never done it before, 10 seconds. Six, three, oh, that's everything. Two, last one. Okay, so this next one, feet on the floor. You lift your bum, put your bum on the floor, sit up, go down. Lift up, take it down, make sure you've got no arch on your back. Lift up, bring it up. Lift, down, push through. Lift, down, push through. Now if you can, try and get a rock. easier like me to put your hands on the outside of your legs. Twenty-two, so much harder than it looks. I think I'm wiggling off the screen. Up. If this is too much for you, go straight back to normal abs. Five, two, last one. Okay. Two more, and then we get back and we finish on the full set of punches. Oh, it's different, isn't it? So, let's go. If you want to, you can lift your feet and your shoulders off the mat. Start with your shoulders though. Jab, off you go. Punch up. Now you have to make sure that you are going across the body, not straight up. Go across the body and you'll feel it on those upper abs. If you want to feel it on your lower abs, ha, take your ha, legs off, but you have to make sure that that belly button is pushing those abs into the mat. Oh God, I actually feel it more if I've got my, just my shoulders up actually, because I can really push through the body. This looks like nothing, but if you're doing it right now, grit your teeth. Ooh, this is really good. I've really enjoyed this workout so far. Go, 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 go. Good. Last one. Beginners, touch, touch. Sit up, okay? Everyone else, into your seesaw. Touch one side, touch one side. V up. Try and get your legs sideways if you can. Side, side, touch your V, down, ha, <laughs> side, side, touch your V, put your feet on the floor if you have to, touch the side, touch the side, come up, touch as far as you can, take your bed down, as long as your back is on the floor, I'm happy, side, side, touch, ah, uh, whoo, don't worry how far you can get up, just give it a try, side, Side, touch, take the modification if you need to. The modification is just lie on the floor. Do that one that we did, but we're sliding down this time. <sighs> touch, 10 seconds, try one more. <sighs> oh, three, two, last one. Grab a sip of water. <sighs> if your abs aren't burning, I don't know what to tell you. My abs feel like they are. Like the bruised. <laughs> Grab a sip. Let's carry on. Mm. Mm. Oh, chalk it up. Whew. How are you feeling? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's fun times, that's what it is. Right. So, a few more push-ups in this section. I know, rubbish. Um, some monkey push-ups as well. If you don't want to do monkey push-ups, which let me show you very quickly how it is. You put your thumbs facing inwards, you put your head above, and then you come over the top of your head, uh, sorry, over your arms, and come in between your shoulder blades, just like that. So come down, 
and up. It's all back. If you don't want to do that one, pick something else to do, okay? If you, you have an alternative of doing monkey push-ups when I tell you, or you can do wall stands if you want to do a handstand on the wall. I know a lot of you are practicing that right now, so I'm going to give you that as an alternative. Okay? Good. Ah, this is going to hurt, picking these up now, because we had a bit of a break, but we'll get it. We'll do it, don't worry. So, jab cross, hook hook, uppercut, uppercut. Let's go. Let's move our body. Your abs should feel like fire. Every time you do an uppercut, you should feel it in every ab of your body. Because I've worked everything for you. Are your elbows tight to your body? Are you using your back to punch? Uppercut, uppercut, jab, cross, hook, hook. 30 seconds, let's go. Jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut. Come on. 18. 12, nine, five, two, last one, march it out, let's change sides, two, one, get some breath on board, stay with me when we're very close to finishing, but we've got to finish it, jab, hook, uppercut, good, Good. Good, come on. You're doing amazing. Let's roll. Keep those elbows tight. 37, I'm absolutely sweating so much that when my arms touch my top, it feels cold. Let's go. Ah, oh, it's not bad though for in the living room. Let's go, not bad though for extra. For the week, let's go. 18. Ah, my arms are dropping off. Seven, six, five, three, two, last one. Let's lock it down. Bellies, this is gonna really smash your abs right now. You're gonna hit them in the belly. Shoulders back. Grab a big breath. Let's go, lock it down, jab. You should feel that all across your middle. Pull those abs in tight now. Come on, jab, jab. You can feel them on them abs. Think about how good your abs are gonna look. Forty seconds. Let's go, punch. Come on, abs in. Move that middle. Thirty seconds. Let's go. 24. 
I told you it'd be up and down. I warned you. <laughs> it's all good. It's all strength. So this is how it looks if you're a beginner, intermediate. Come down, split your stance. Touch if you can, come under. Touch if you can, or put your knees on the floor. Stay under, or you can stay in the plank. Let's go. Or just keep with the push up. <sighs> up, split your stance as far under as you can. Up, good. Let's go. Let's go. Under. 25. Let's go. Under. 21. It's a long time since we've done this one. 13. 8. 3. 2. Last one. So you can do this with weights or without weights. You're going to get into your plank. On your knees or not on your knees, it's entirely up to you. And you are going to punch forward. You're going to punch. So, intermediates just touch forward or touch your elbows. You can do that. Advanced people, let's go punch. Punch forward. You've got to keep those hips still. Five more minutes though. Five more minutes. This time you're gonna face one way. Jab, punch the floor. Jab, punch the floor. Jab, belly. Jab, belly. Get in. Make sure you're moving those feet. Get down. Get down, let's go. Get down, face, belly. 30 seconds, keep that guard up. Change that. 
we're nearly there. Ready? Let's go. Jack, belly, jump. Down, down, 50 seconds. Jump, punch down, get it right down there, come back. Let's go. Down, come on. Down, up. Let's go. Let's go. 25. Come on, let's go. 15. 10. 8. 5. Trees. 3. 2. Trees. Can I you, babe? Three, two, one, let's go. Upper cuts, get low. Come on, 50 seconds. 50, punch. Come on, let's finish it. 40 seconds. 38. 30 seconds. Come on, really pull those abs in. Finish this workout strong. 23, 20, 15, 10, 4, 3, 2, keep going. Last one. So this time I'm going to finish on that sequence that we did last time. You're going to jab up, hook, uppercut, punch. Got it? Keep moving your feet. We're nearly done two more times, and then we're done. Let's go. Up, hook, uppercut, jab. Let's go. Punch up, punch hook, uppercut, jab it. Keep close. Jab, let's go. Punch up, hook, uppercut, jab. Up, hook, let's go. Uppercut, jab. Good. Up. Hook, upper cut, jab, good. Come on, jab, up, hook, upper cut, jab. Ah. Ah, my arms are dropping off, let's go. Up, hook, upper cut, jab, 25. Come on, 18, jab, up, hook, upper cut, jab. Ah. 10 seconds, let's go, one more. Eight. Three, two, march it out. Change your sides, we're nearly done, two more minutes. My shoulders feel like they're gonna drop off. Three, two, let's go, keep it close. Hook, upper cut, jab. Punch, move your feet around. Don't be stiff. Up, hook, uppercut, cross, up, hook, uppercut, cross. Good. Come on. Make it nasty like Mrs. Jackson. Punch, up, hook, uppercut. It's getting so real now. 23 seconds, up, hook, jab, 18 seconds, keep moving your feet, 12, oh my lord, go, 5, 3, 2, you've got one set of abs to do, again, we're not going to do the sit up though this time, staying with your abs in the locked position, Remember, shoulders do the work, lock them down, onto the shoulders, shoulders, lift them, let's go, to the knee, down, to the knee, shoulders, 
Shoulders do the work. Do not let those weights lift you up. Up. 30 seconds. Up. Let's go. Come on, do it like you mean it. 24. Let's finish it. In style. 40. Shoulders do the work. Let's go. Four, three, two, last one. Plank, reverse plank, or that twist plank that we did earlier on. Entirely up to you which one you're gonna pick. If you're picking the twist plank, get on your side, lift, side, center, lift, squeeze it up, it's a little move. Let's go, squeeze up, side, side, center, side, ah, my vein, feels like it's coming out of my eyes. Let's go. Don't worry about the lifting, worry about the holding and that your back is on that mat. Got 20 seconds, try and do one more of each. Try not to put it down. I know it's really hard, but try not to. Try to challenge yourself. Oh God, oh I can't do it. And I gave it everything. Last one. It's got to be done now. One more. Three, two, one. Our last one is those tuck outs. The intermediates, you're here, you're coming in, you're taking it out, you're bringing it in, you're taking it out. That's your, yours. A little bit extra, bring your shoulders up, take it out. Ah, advanced people, let's go. This is no, this is a no, this is definitely a no. This is your last minute. Done today. Took me everything. I did it. Bye.